I am Anil Kumar and here is a test problem on compound angle formula. The question is to evaluate cos of pi by 9 cos of 19 pi by 18 minus sin pi by 9 sin 19 pi by 18. Now you remember the formula cos a plus b right it is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b right. So we can directly apply this formula over here and we know what is A. A is pi by 9 and B is 19 pi by 18. So what we get here is cos pi by 9 cos 19 pi by 18 minus sine pi by 9 sine 19 pi by 18 should be equals to cos of pi by 9 plus 19 pi by 18. Correct? So that is what we get. Now let's add them up. So what do we get? We get cos of 18 is the common denominator. 2 plus 9 will give us 11. So 21. So 21 pi by 18. Right? So cos of 21 pi by 18. What does that mean? Let's look into it. So in a coordinate plane, we have cos of 21 over 18. So pi is divided into 18 equal parts. 21 means 3 more, right? So you are in this quadrant. You are in quadrant 3. Since you are in quadrant 3, you expect a negative value here, right? So, and this answer, this acute angle here is 3 pi by 18, correct? So, we have acute angle which will be equals to 3 pi by 18, correct? And therefore, I can write my expression as equivalent to, since in this quadrant, cos is negative, right? Cos is positive in quadrant 4 and in 1. Here, sine and tan are positive, respectively, in 2 and 3. So, negative of cos of acute angle, 3 pi by 18. right so that is what we get and you can simplify 3 pi by 18 to get minus cos of pi by 6 to find cos of pi by 6 you can use special triangle right so that is your special triangle this is pi by 6 for you 1 2 square root 3 so cos pi by 6 is square root 3 over 2 so we get negative square root 3 over 2 as your answer right so you can write down this expression as equals to negative square root I mean 3 over 2 right so that is what our answer is so let me clearly write down the answer so answer is minus square root 3 over 2 so that is how you should be solving such a question thank you